feel when somebody stops in the street? It's always good. It's a truly an honor because we know how hard it is to play this game. It's tough to even make a team. And then to be able to play at that level and do well and have those kind of memories, Big Shot Bob, I mean, playing with Hakeem Olajuwon, coached by Rudy here in the city, and, and, and you're winning all the time, it, it doesn't get any better. And you didn't take it for granted then, and certainly as you look back on it, you appreciate it even more. Guys, can you talk about Bernie Max was toughness and great with Max was tough. I mean, I, I played with Max, and Max was tough. He never backed down from anybody. Would take the big shot, would guard anybody, and would do whatever it took to help the team win. That was pretty much indicative of the spirit of that team. Yeah, you know, the thing that people don't know about Vernon, he was so inspirational. He'd be that guy in the, in the huddle telling guys to get fired up, come on. I remember my very, very first game as a Rocket over in Japan. I got 106 temperature. He goes up to me and says, I don't give a damn if you if you throwing up or what. We need you now. We got to win. He's like, Carl Herrera ain't going to do it. We need you, boy. Come on. And, you know, those type of guys that can somehow inspire you to play better, to give it your all when you don't have it, you know, those are hard to come by. You got guys now who try to inspire guys, and you look at them and be like, man, why don't you just shut up? But, you know, <laughs> Vernon had that it factor. And I don't know what it was, but he knew how to inspire guys and get guys going. Uh, you didn't get the goal against uh, Charles Barkley, Horace Grant, um, and then in the finals, you go up against, uh, well, you go up against uh, Horace Grant in the finals. How do you prepare yourself? Uh, don't get Rodman. He's out of position, you know, playing. Well, you, 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 no, he wasn't out of position. They were out of position. Trying to guard him. How did you prepare yourself mainly to play against guys? Like you, you know, the, the, the hardest thing ever is to prepare yourself for someone like Charles Barkley. Horace was no problem. You know, Charles was that guy that could do it all on the court, shoot threes, back you down. You know, my whole thing was like, man, what do I do this game? How do I play him? Am I going to use my quickness? Am I going to use my length? I had no strength against him because he was so strong, but, you know, he, he helped me to play that position because I learned so much from playing him in that series because, you know, <laughs> getting down 3-1 to him and then trying to, you know, inspire myself to find a way to stop him was it was hard. But, you know, you can't stop one guy by yourself. I had a you know great cast of teammates. We were an excellent defensive team and nobody talks about that. We would rotate. We were everywhere at one point. Yeah. 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 So it was just, <laughs> it, it was so good to have guys that, you know, if you look at our team, we have four guys that started at all good shot shot blockers, and you and it's hard to find a hard team to like find. that. You don't find that in today's game. Weak side on the ball, everything. <laughs> <laughs>